PS review. We've got the uh, Garmin Nuvi 1690 in the house. So let's take a look. Uh, what I'll start out with first, uh, we'll go with what comes in the box when you get it. Uh, all your basics are covered here. Uh, you've got the unit itself, the GPS unit. You've got a quick start guide, accessory guide, and safety and product information there. Um, it comes with your car adapter, power adapter. Basically this, this lights up when it's plugged in, it'll turn red. So you've got that. You've got a USB data and charging cable. Uh, it's a micro USB with a standard USB connection on the other end, which will plug into the unit. You can use this on your computer to charge it. You can also use it to download updates from Garmin's website, which I do recommend doing every every couple of weeks. They they pretty good on keeping on top of um, providing updates for the unit software. So keep that in mind. Keep that handy. Uh, also comes with a windshield mount which I don't use. I have a uh, beanbag type mount that sits on my dash, but it does come with this. So you can mount this to your windshield. Along with that, it also comes with a sticky uh, base plate here, which you can attach and then permanently adhere it to your uh, dash somewhere, I guess. But like I said, I don't use this. I, I just use a standard uh, Garmin beanbag mount. It also comes with the adapter, which let me pull this back in. Uh, your unit will slot in here, comes in and out very easy. Once it's in, it's pretty uh, solid. And then this will just mount into this, and then you'll mount it to your windshield like that. And it's rotatable once it's in the mount. It's basically just snaps in like that. And with the unit in, you'll be able to rotate this uh, while you're driving, you know, whatever you want to do. Okay, the unit itself, here it is, 1690. Um, Size-wise, pretty compact. It is a widescreen unit. Um, to give you a, a reference here on the size, we will put it next to my iPhone. So that gives you an idea of the, of the height and width. And the width is there. Let's see if I can do this right. And that gives you an idea of the size of the unit. Okay, what's on the outside? We'll start here first. Uh, pretty basic. You've got a micro SD here for adding additional memory or additional map data that you can purchase from Garmin. Um, you've got your power slash data connection here. Um, you've also got a USB data power connection here. Uh, when it's mounted in your vehicle, your cable, let me grab the cable once real, real quick. Cable's going to just basically plug in, get that the right way. It's going to sit in your vehicle like this. So the only issue I can see with this is, is a height thing. Uh, depending on how you set it up, you're going to be pretty much limited to about that much height uh, above the mount. So just keep that in mind. My vehicle, it's not a problem with, like I said, uh, not an issue for me, but I just want to make sure you guys are aware of it. And that pretty much covers uh, what you see. It's got a speaker here, single speaker here in the back. And it's coated with this sort of rubbery plastic material. So it's not going to gather fingerprints there. Uh, the front does have the bezel area is a nice shiny black. Um, and over time, you're going to get some fingerprints built up on there, but no big deal. Uh, the screen itself is a non-reflective, for the most part, screen pretty good at not gathering fingerprints. The only, I, honestly, the only time I ever put fingerprints on this is if you uh, stop for some fast food or something like that along the way and you interact with the unit, you will leave some grease spots, that type of thing. But like I said, I'm pressing here. You can see there's going to be uh, no fingerprint type issues build up on here. So very good on Garmin for incorporating it. Actually, I think most of their units have that type okay, of screen. Let's talk about how the 1690 functions. I've got it powered on here. We'll, we'll walk through the icons. Um, in the upper left here, you've got your signal strength indicator. Uh, these can be a little, I have sort of big hands, so I apologize if it takes a little bit. Um, it's, I'm indoors here, and that's why, and I just powered it on, so it hasn't acquired any satellites. But normally, once it's on, you'll see the uh, ring of satellites, as I call it up here, that it's acquired. You also see them listed across here, and it'll show you the signal strength for each. It'll also show your GPS location. It'll show you your moving speed. 
uh, or whatever speed you're moving at um, and your current elevation you can use this all the menu interactions the whole units touch based the next icon over is going to be your specific mode icon if I can do this and basically this is going to select what mode the GPS is working in uh, you've got automotive pedestrian and bicycle modes you've got your time which is displayed here uh, there's also if you this does come with G, um, Bluetooth so you can uh, sync it with your Bluetooth phone and you can make uh, hands-free calls through this um, I don't but th there would normally be an icon up here uh, for that function next over from the time you've got your temperature um, and this is basically just going to give you a view of what your current weather conditions are and there we've got our and there's an example of the uh, voice prompting there and I, I've set a random location here um, just to show you guys how it works basically uh, it'll give you your current weather conditions um, next icon over is going to be your signal strength for the Google uh, network <clears throat> and like I mentioned before this unit works in conjunction with Google to provide traffic uh, flight information weather uh, those type of things and I'll show you those as I we go through the menus next icon over is your battery status uh, the only other major ones here you've got your volume function here which you can set basically just tap to increase or decrease uh, you've got your tools menu which we'll all go into in the next part so that basically covers the functions on the